America, remember when a young upstart Illinois Senator Barack Obama promised everything under the sun? Obama promised to cut the deficit in half. Well, it was 10 trillion then, it's over 18 trillion now. Obama promised shovel-ready American jobs, but as Obama's golf games increased and he spent millions of taxpayer dollars on his vacations, he ignored his jobs council, eventually disbanding it, and now we have an economy with more than one-third of the country on welfare. Not to mention an emboldened surveillance state, militarized constitution despising police, a middle class destroying health care program, wide open borders, huge foreign policy failures in the Middle East, Europe and South America, an impending corporate world government courtesy of the TPP, and a nation increasingly divided on race. Basically, everything Obama promised was a big fat lie. His biggest achievement appears to be the ability to lead the American people along like lemmings. Nature and her infinite wisdom has spared a few. Back on the Arctic plain, there remains the small handful that did not make this fatal journey. So who's the globalist straw man this time around? Could it be Donald Trump? The Washington Post reported that former President Bill Clinton had a private telephone conversation in late spring with Donald Trump at the same time that the billionaire investor and reality television star was nearing a decision to run for the White House, according to associates of both men. Four Trump allies and one Clinton associate familiar with the exchange said that Clinton encouraged Trump's efforts to play a larger role in the Republican Party and offered his own views of the political landscape. Donald Trump is a longtime friend of the Clintons. So what would the strategy look like in order for Trump to buttress Hillary's presidential campaign as she struggles with the shackles of her latest debacle of an FBI email investigation, where at least four of the emails on her private server were found to be classified? First, delay the Democratic presidential debate. Done. We won't see a Democratic presidential debate for over two months and the handful of Democratic candidates are already complaining that the schedule of six primary debates are designed to allow Hillary to shine. Second, send in the Donald to stir up the Republican campaign. Test the waters by using promises and observations about America that Hillary can utilize later so, in her campaign. if it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. This was not a subject that was on anybody's mind until I brought it up at my announcement and I said, Mexico is sending. And once Trump has dominated and weakened the Republican field with his faux populism, Trump can jump right off the Republican bandwagon and run as a third party candidate, further watering down Republican votes, which is something Trump has already hinted at. Here we are again, debate season when the candidates actually talk about the criminal conspiracy that has devoured our government and transformed it into a corporation masquerading as a democracy. Not to be mentioned again once they are in office, as this brief season of populism and reflection of American values morphs into a reign of tyranny. John Bound for Infowars.com.